Once you done with your answer, you are supposed to write conclusion. Conclusion is what out of these three, which uh, which is ten thousand equal shares we have of rupees hundred is ten thousand into hundred. How much it is? Ten lakh. Now, so it will be how much? This will be nil and this will be nil. What is the total actually? Ten thousand plus ten thousand. It is twenty thousand. Earlier old we have equity. For this calculation we don't take equity. Earlier we have equity. The existing one. Hello everyone. This is your other sir here. Let's learn with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are in the session three of your financial management, and under financial management, we are discussing capital structure. In the previous session, we done with the theory part. Along with theory, we also discuss one complete problem on capital structure. In today's session, we will work out one more problem on capital structure. In that, almost it is similar, but the percentage and the calculation part. Little change and the tax and everything, the numbers will be changed. Now, if you do one or two similar problem, it is nothing but you will understand better. Problem now. So in this problem, we have like a company had currently an equity capital consisting rupees ten thousand equity shares. How many equity shares we have? We have ten thousand equity shares. Ten thousand equal shares we have of rupees hundred is ten thousand into hundred. How much it is? Ten lakh. Now we got ten lakh for expansion and considering three alternative. We have three alternatives here. Alternative one, two, as well as third one. What is the first one? To issue ten thousand equal shares of hundred is ten thousand debentures of hundred. Ten thousand preference shares of rupees hundred. Now, in this ten thousand nine percent debentures. While calculating, you should calculate nine percent. For ten thousand ten percent preference shares. While calculating dividend, you are supposed to calculate ten percent. Now, remember, wherever we write preference, wherever we write equity, wherever we write debenture. For debenture holders, always. Interest for preference shareholders it is always dividend. Equity shareholders nothing we will give why because we are calculating earning per share. Now the company's EBIT. What is EBIT? Earning before interest and tax we can call it as three lakh eighty. If you invest this ten lakh additional ten lakh, your earning will be how much? Three lakh eighty thousand every year. Assuming thirty percent tax, compute EPS. EPS stands for earning per share. EPS stands for earning per share. Now solution part. Now solution part is very simple. The heading must be computation. Of earning per share, combination of earning per share. In this, we have alternative one, alternative two, and alternative three. Total three alternative. First one, ten thousand equity of hundred each. Now, first one, ten thousand equity of hundred. How much it is? Ten. Like, hope you are clear. This is your option number one. What is your option number two? Option number two is ten thousand nine percent debentures of rupees hundred each. Now, ten thousand into hundred, so it will be how much? Ten lakh. Remember. It is nine percent. Your debenture is nine percent. Why I have taken equity plus equity plus in the sense earlier old we have equity. For this calculation we don't take equity. Earlier we have equity the existing one. And the third one your preference is similar ten thousand 
multiplied with 100, it will be 10 lakh. What is the percentage actually? The percentage is we have 10 percent. So your equity is over, second alternative over, third alternative also over. Now, we'll go one by one. First will be EBIT, EBIT. What is the EBIT as per the question? As per the question, it is 380000 3,80,000, 3,80,000, 3,80,000, 3,80,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, second one, minus interest, minus interest. Interest is given to whom? Only to debenture holder. Do you have debenture holder? No. Do you have debenture holder? Yes. How much? 10 lakh. What is the percentage? 9%. Now, this will be 10 lakh into 9%. It will be how much? 10 lakh into 9%. It will be 90,000. But I'll calculate once. 10 lakh into 9%, I got 90,000. Nil, 90,000 and nil. What is your answer? This answer we call it as earning before tax. This will be 3 lakh 80,000. Your 3 lakh 80 plus 90, 2 lakh 90,000. And this will be 3 lakh. 80,000. Hope any doubt up to this. Hope there is no doubt. Now, up to this we have completed. What is the next one? Minus tax. Minus tax. What is the tax? It is at 30%. On what we should calculate on this value? 3,80,000 into 30 by 100. I'll check whether it is 30 percent. Yes, it is 30 percent. On that value, we are supposed to calculate 30 percent. Now, 3,80,000 we have into 30 percent. I got 1,14,000. 1,14,000. Similarly, 2,90,000 into 30 percent. 87,000. 3,80,000 into 30%. I got 1,14,000. 1,14,000. Now I am supposed to minus. This we call it as earning after tax. I don't have space. So earning after tax. So how much? 3,80,000 minus double one four. I got 2,66,000, 2,66,000, this one, 2,90,000 minus 87,000, I got 2,3,000, this is 3,80,000 minus double one four, yes, I got 2,66,000. 266. Hope up to this, no doubt. Now, so up to this we have completed. We got earning after tax, or else income available to preference as well as equity shareholder. Now, next it will be dividend minus dividend. How to calculate dividend in this? The dividend part will be given to whom? Only for preference shareholder. Now, equity, equity and preference. What is the preference? 10%. So, 10% on what value? So, we have 10,000 into 100, 10 lakh. On 10 lakh, you are supposed to find out 10%. See, 10 lakh into 10 by 100. It will be first person, no. Second person, no. Third person, yes. One lakh. Ten lakh into ten percent, I got one lakh. Now, you are supposed to minus 
टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस नील इट विल बी टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स टू लैख थ्री थाउजेंड माइनस जीरो सो इट विल बी टू लैख थ्री थाउजेंड टू लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस वन लैख सो इट विल बी वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड नाउ What is the formula of EPS? Now, EPS is equal to net income available to equity shareholder. You are supposed to write net income available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity shares. Divided by divided by divided by divided by number of equity shares. You will get earning per share. Now I'll calculate here. What are the number of equity shares like? Now option one, option two, and option three. In this first one existing, second one new. So heading is computation. of number of equity shares computation of number of equity shares now so existing one how much existing one see in your question they have given 10000 equity shares those are existing now it will be 10000 10000 10000 so new equity shares how much you have new equity shares like do you have equity shares yes how many equity shares 10000 now it will be 10000 addition 10000 debentures we have no equity 10000 preference shares you have no equity hope you are clear yes So it will be how much? This will be nil, and this will be nil. What is the total actually? Ten thousand plus ten thousand. It is twenty thousand. This will be ten thousand. This will be ten thousand. Any doubt up to this? No doubt. This will be total number of equity shares. So we take twenty thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. This will be twenty thousand, ten thousand, and ten thousand. Now, what will be your answer? Two lakh three thousand divided by ten thousand. One lakh sixty six thousand divided by ten thousand. Two lakh sixty six thousand divided by twenty thousand. Now. If you divide, you will get number of uh, earning per share. Now I'll calculate two lakh sixty six thousand divided by twenty thousand. I got thirteen point three. Thirteen point three. This is earning per share. Now two lakh three thousand divided by ten thousand. It will be twenty point three. Twenty point three. One lakh sixty six thousand divided by ten thousand. It is sixteen point six. Now, see if you go for your option one, you will get thirteen point three. Option two, twenty point three, and option three, you will get sixteen point six. Hope you are clear. Yes. Then your answer must be option. Three must be accepted. Option three must be accepted due to due to higher E P S due to higher E P S. Hope you are clear. Once you done with your answer, you are supposed to write. Conclusion. Conclusion is what out of these three, which uh, which is 
higher. So in this option two is higher, not three. Option two is higher. So because we will get 20.3 if you go with dementia. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your today's session. Now I'll go back to all the slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your problem. Now solution part one. Solution part two. So this is your working note. Yes, this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out at home. It is the easiest one and easily you can score in your examination. Thank you.